Just for the sake of thoroughness, let's have a quick look at what the performance counter does. Like I've said all along, the purpose of this course isn't to write code and show what code does, it's to show you how to create your own packages, upload them to packages, etc. But we might as well have a look at this just in case you want to contribute to it. It's something which I knocked up quite quickly to solve a particular problem which I had at the time. It can be improved, I'm well aware that it can be improved, uh, it was just done very quickly and so it would be nice to uh, get some outside contribution on this. Basically what it does is it just um, times things. It can count the time of uh, a particular iteration of a loop or a whole process and you can just drop keys anywhere in your code and then as long as you have an endpoint for that key then you can say how long it took, how much time elapsed from when the key was first initialized to where you've said okay stop. And so here it is. Uh, it's done in a singleton pattern. There'll only ever be one instance of this. And like I say, it's basically just a key which you drop in there and say, OK, start the timer here. So let's go and have a look at uh, my index.php. And so here we're saying get random class. I've created a class called random class. And just to show that you can start the timer in one file and then stop it in another one, uh, I started the timer here and I just called the key for it random class just because I couldn't think of anything better and I actually stopped the timer just down here time iteration end so that is where you're saying okay stop the timer there and then you're saying get me the average iteration time and so you don't even need to be working in a loop it can be all one process but uh, whether you're working in a loop or whether you're getting the time for just one process from uh, the start of maybe a request to a response you just call this method here get iteration time and so uh, inside of a loop here I also started off another timer I gave that a name of index and I just put a random sleep in there and then I said okay stop the timer here so it's just going to get the average time for each iteration it's going to iterate through that five times and here as you can see it will get you the average iteration time and so one other sleep in there uh, which I put after random class start doing stuff so that should pause one second so we should see a much smaller time because this is just iterations of a smaller loop but for the key which I called random class then we should see a much larger time because that was started here in this file then we did a sleep and then we did some looping and then at the end of all that we said okay stop the timer or stop the random class timer here these names could be anything you just give the keys any name that you like okay so let's go and run this I've got a local server running so uh, you can start that with PHP hyphen s localhost colon and then whatever port number you want and I've just placed this in a folder called public and the file is called index and then if I go and run that as you can see totally lapsed time that was for the key which we called random class and then this one is for the key which we called index so 51 milliseconds and 1259 milliseconds if the project does interest you and you would like to contribute to it then I do have another recording which I made on a previous course which shows you how to contribute to open source projects, how you can contribute to my projects. So I'll leave a link to that in the description below this video. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like YouTube to show you more of my content, all you need to do is subscribe and click the notification icon. And also if you're interested in my full length courses then make sure you check out my site at garyclark.tech. I'll leave a link on the screen and in the description.